Hey guys, just wanted to make a quick video uh, for those of you with the BMW Z4 who are having a code P1447 for a diagnostic module tank leakage, current too high. I uh, went ahead and ordered a part, it's for the fuel tank breather valve. Uh, went with Bosch part numbers right there. Bought it off OEM Boomer Parts for about 50. Here's a new part, and here's the old part, it's all black. So. Uh, you're going to want to start by jacking up your car, taking your tire off, pretty self-explanatory there. Make sure you support your vehicle. Uh, and then the hardest part of all of this is really just taking off your uh, wheel well here. So in order to do that, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, on the front side here, there's three plastic tabs. Uh, one, two, and three that look like this right here so these are the ones where if you want to pry it out with a flathead it comes out and you just take it out these things tend to break easily so be careful with that okay on the bottom half we have three screws two are looking like this they're size seven i think seven or eight and then the other one is uh into a metal and those are found on the bottom side of your bumper right Oof. right here this is the back right of the vehicle here's one here's two and this is the metal one that goes into the uh, base of your trunk okay so up top here in the wheel well you also have two these are size tens sorry for all this camera shaking uh, just these plastic rivets one's going to be up top here the other one's going to be right here, connecting with this piece here, okay? You might also have another screw here and another screw here. Go ahead and remove those, okay? And that's pretty much it. Those screws that are here are a size 7, I think, as well. All right, so once you get that done, the hardest part is to peel off the wheel well, but the way I did it, is to start from the front here. This is usually in front. The wheel well sits behind here. Peel this all the way down. This is flexible. Don't be shy with it. And work the wheel well out of here. Kind of pry it out all the way around. All the way around, all the way around. And then push it forward. I bent the right, the front half of the wheel well forward to about here. And then the rest popped out. And this all will slide out. Just be careful with the bottom half. You do have a little plastic tab from the floor of the trunk or this cover panel right here. Be careful not to break that. I'm not sure if it was already like that or I did that, but uh, it just inserts and the uh, wheel well cover sits right here. So make sure you pull out. Don't push down and, and break this off, okay? It's no big deal. So the part now, to get to the part, it's pretty simple. There's three things. Uh, we've got three screws, one, two, three, that mount the component, and it sits just like this, okay, with the front side, or the front nozzle, goes into this canister here, and if your car is like mine, it's not lubricated very well, this piece normally sits inside of this tube here, it came out with my part, no big deal, just undo it, or take it off, and just slide it back in, uh, into here okay no big deal so I'll do that later uh, on the right half here or this is towards the center of the vehicle uh, you have this hose right here and all you do here you see the graded sections here and here you pinch real hard and you pull out and what you're doing when you pinch is you're widening it so you can get over this little bump here okay no big deal and then the last thing you need to do which is the first thing I actually did it's simple, unplug the sensor. That's just as simple as pushing here, okay? And I'll just plug straight out and you can set that to the side. And that's it, guys, your new part. Uh, I would go ahead and just start with this end here or this end. This probably can get pushed on pretty easily. It's as simple as pushing this back in, pushing this, but don't push and pull, kind of push with a little twist, trying to, uh, to wiggle it out a bit. And then the sensor goes in the back, so. 
hopefully reset the code and we'll see how that goes. So mine went off with a P0444, which I thought was originally the gas cap uh, seal. So I replaced the gas cap um, O-ring and uh, I still had that light. So hopefully this will solve my problems. But put it back together in the reverse order and you guys should be good to go. Good luck, enjoy, and thanks for checking in.